Korea's growth forecast for the year may take further cuts as economic think tanks begin to take in the economic impact of the April ferry disaster. Kim ji reports. Slow recovery following sluggish domestic consumption is prompting institutions to slash their growth projection for the Korean economy. Much of it has to do with consumers spending less after the Seoul ferry disaster in April, which the Korea Economic Research Institute says has raised red flags. Forecasts for private consumption and household spending fell, and they're not expected to pick up anytime soon. Private consumption has not increased in the past two quarters, as it was fueled by negative consumer sentiment following the Seolho disaster. A state-run economic policy think tank, the Korea Development Institute, has cut the country's growth forecast to 3.7 percent this year, down 0.2 percentage point from previous estimates. Finance Minister Hono Sog also voiced concerns that a freeze in consumer sentiment could slow down the Korean economy. Retail and leisure sectors were among those most affected by the ferry incident, according to reports by the Bank of Korea released on Wednesday. Senior researcher of the KRI, Pyongyang Yu, says that the government needs to eliminate uncertainties that business entities currently face, such as voting on some 300 bills stalled in the National Assembly concerning labor laws that can make it harder for employers to lay off employees and shorten working hours. Kim Jeong, Arirang News.